Hey guys, I hope you guys are well. Um, it feels like I haven't done a video in a while, but anyway, I've been busy. So yeah. Okay, this video is going to be a little bit of a rant and then kind of an update. Um, so let's get into it. The first thing I want to rant about is the post office. I'm just fed up. Um, it seems like my mail seems to, they always hold my mail at the location near my house. And I don't know why. It's like every time I'm missing mail, like last time I had a check that was sent to me. And this check went all over, and then I found that it was being held at the post office. So I talked to um, the manager, I mean, uh, the post office, and they told me that they couldn't get into the building. Mind you, this has happened past months ago, too. Um, I actually had a packet that was sent for me from eBay, and it ended up, uh, it disappeared. Because it kept saying, you know, it was delivered, but it never got to me. So... I went to the post office, they looked and they found the package and they told me, oh, we have not been able to get into your building, so we've been holding all the packages here. So I'm like, what exactly happened? They really can't give me explanation of what's going on. Um, last week, at least, we knew that the, something was wrong with the gate that they go in with. So at least that one made sense. But the other past times, it's just been, my mail is being held and I don't know why. So that's just my little rant. Like the post office annoys me and I know there's nice people, at, at least the location that I, I go to. But I'm just frustrated sometimes. Like, you know, you have important mail that comes in sometimes. And I really wish I didn't have to deal with mail. But I guess we don't have a choice. Some things have to be mailed. But it's just a lot of hassle just going back and forth. Thank God I usually walk. Um, I exercise that way. That I am able to go there and check. But the times I don't, it's like, you know, you need that to be reliable. But it's not. Really, I'd rather do UPS or something else. At least that way, the tracking can tell me whether something happened or whatever. But this one with the post office has just been a hassle having to, you know, take time out of my day to go and check my if I have mail there when there's really no reason why the mail is not being delivered. I don't understand it. Anyway, that's my little rant on the post office. The next one is sore throat. Um, if you guys have any remedies for sore throat, please let me know. I'm just getting so frustrated with this. It's been going on for so many months, um, and it started right after I had the flu. Uh, not the flu shot, but the flu drip, the one they put in your nose, whatever. Uh, I never really had sore throat problems. But every morning that I wake up, my throat is just clogged and I have to go <clears throat> every morning. That's all I do. I've tried different things and nothing seems to work. So if you've gone to a doctor, for example, for a sore throat thing, please let me know what did you ask for and what do they do for you to get that <clears throat> every morning that you have to do this and clear out your throat. I mean, it's just like, ugh, I don't want to do that every morning. So if you guys have any ideas on how to take care of that, please do let me know what you um, I think antibiotics I tried already, so don't, I can't even go there. But if you have had some remedies that can help take it out permanently like that problem of having to clear your throat every morning um, because it takes me like almost throughout the day for my throat to be cleared I just have to go <clears throat> all the time like because I feel like there's something there um, even drinking tea uh, sometimes with lemon or ginger like that stuff is not really working permanently so I think something with the flu shot that I had done a couple of months ago um, it seems like it made it worse so please you guys if you have any ideas please leave them below all right, so where have I been? I've been really busy. Um, okay, I'm going through an agency to help me find work, as I already told you guys. I did find something the first time, but just due to miscommunication or whatever with the agency, I actually ended up working only one day at this the first hospital that I was assigned to. So I was like, you know, how come you guys didn't tell me it was only going to be one day out of all the training that I had to go through? So that gets me into what I'm really going to talk about is the cons of um, going through an agency. Um, you really need patience because you're gonna go through a lot of frustrations. Um, one time, they might tell you one thing and then another thing happens. Um, they might give you a schedule and the schedule changes. Um, you might try to call them and reach them and sometimes they're not available. So I've just noticed that's what agencies are. They do help you find work. Sometimes they don't actually, you don't find work, but you need patience. Um, so the past week I was doing training almost eight hours, um, four times a week. Uh, learning a program software that I'm going to be using at the hospital that they're going to place me in. Um, it's It was a long one, but I learned so much and I really enjoyed it because to me, this is like my career. That's where I want to be. So I need to really get on it and learn all these things. So I was really thankful for that. Um, but I feel like with agencies, you know, sometimes you go through tests, um, all the medical records have to be, you know, checked and all that stuff, especially if you want to work in a hospital. Um, and then there's a lot of orientation that you have to attend um, and different things, meeting with them back to back, you're traveling back to back, trying to get everything done. 
and it takes time um, for actually to get placed. It might take like a couple months more later on before you start working. Um, so that's what I've noticed. It's just been a lot of hassles and going back to back. But then for me, I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to, you know, I want to go somewhere. So, hey, I'll hang in there. Um, yeah, so that's what I've noticed with the agency. A little bit slower. It takes a lot of orientations, interviews, and all these different things you're doing. Uh, a lot of paperwork, you know, um, signing contracts and stuff like that, and just traveling back to back to get everything in order. So if you're thinking about an agency, um, do go for it because I mean, I you guys know I, tr I, I applied to so many places and no one called, uh, but at least I got my first work at a hospital. Like even if it was one day, um, it's still okay. I mean, I know it's gonna get better. So that's what I've been noticing with agencies. It's just, it's slower. Um, you have to wait. And especially if you don't have your medical records, um, if you want to work in the hospital and stuff, you need to get that ready when you go there because you're going to ask you for all of this stuff, like the MMRs, um, a TB test and things like that. So you have to have all that ready before you go in so that it could be a faster process. Um, sometimes, you know, you do train and all this stuff and you end up doing something else. Like I was trained to do something with masks and then I ended up doing... Um, just intake basically getting all the paperwork for employees and stuff like that done instead of what i originally was trained to do or yeah trained to do um so that's what i've noticed yes um with the company i'm with um a lot of miscommunication like i'll be told like oh get ready clear out your schedule for next week we're gonna do this and then things change and it's not that and then i'm like okay i cleared out my schedule and i'm available and nothing is gonna happen you know yeah, so that's something you have to prepare for, you guys. Um, it's just a lot sometimes. But anyway, that's life. Uh, the next one was a little bit of a frustration, um, and that had to do with my hair. Just the minute that I posted a video, like, a couple months ago, telling you guys, like, oh, my hair is doing well, I'm happy. And then all of a sudden, I just went through a stage where my hair was just drier than usual, um, and my bonnet would fall off at night and then I just had more breakage every time I combed or just touched my hair I would just have like little bits of strips of hair. So I was like, what is going on? Um, so I had to trim a lot of ends which I wasn't happy about because it's like all the length that I'd retained it basically I lost some of it um, So right now that's my bun there, which is okay. It's okay. It's where it's always I've, it, It's always been but it just felt like I could have gained a little bit more length if I didn't have to trim so much but anyway, um, I think my hair just needs to be in a protective style soon because I'm just, I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, I was doing my hair like yesterday, washing it, whatever. And my mom was like, your hair is beautiful. A lot of people tell me that, you know, but for me, I'm like, it's not where I want it to be. And I constantly just say, oh, it's not, I'm not happy with it. I don't know what it is with me. Like I just have this image in my mind of how I want my hair to be. And it's not, especially my ends, you know, so that's just a little run. You're going to have setbacks and um, things are not going to work out. But hang in there and just keep going, just like everything else, which leads me to the next topic of that I wanted to talk about, and that's um, weight loss. I definitely didn't do an update on weight loss because I it didn't go so well. Um, the video that I posted that I was going to go work out in my plan, it didn't work out so well. So I just basically started all over again. It's normal. That's going to happen. You just have to try to get back up. The scale has been annoying me because I look at the scale and I'm like, oh, no, I didn't lose anything. Um, but they say ignore the scale because it's going to kind of frustrate you. Sometimes your body's changing and the scale is not showing it, um, but your clothes will. So I'm basically going to use my clothes this time. I'm just not going to try to focus too much on that scale. Um, so I've been walking, um, especially traveling back to San Francisco where I go for the orientation and all that for the agency. Um, and uh, using my waist trimmer belt, which is making a big difference. I'm so happy about that. At least my stomach is starting to look a little bit you know it's shrinking a little bit um and yeah so that's been what i've been doing and as far as eating i'm trying my best to pick healthy foods um and way to get home to eat for example but it's still a struggle but at least now i'm exercising two at the same time um one what i noticed what i was doing one or the other and it doesn't work you have to kind of do both so it was kind of like one of the reasons i kind of slacked off on the last time um but i'm just going to continue oops i'm like talking too much here just gonna continue and um, yeah and just try to do this because I mean my goal was just 20 pounds and it's just like I guess as you get older I'm, November I'm turning 32 oh my gosh and it's harder to, I guess to lose weight when you get to that age I don't know yeah so I hope you guys are well I just wanted to check on you guys quickly and just do an update video I hope you guys are um, you know going out there and 
working hard and making your dreams come true and stepping out of the box and I don't know what else to say you guys but I hope you're well and I'll see you guys in another video and once again um, the sore throat thing please leave me a video below I mean a video a comment below letting me know what are some solutions that you have if you've gone to a doctor what have you asked them for so that they can help you with the sore throat thing because I'm just like ugh, tired of doing <clears throat> every morning anyway I'll see you guys later